I just want to show you guys real quick. It's um, Friday morning, and I'm getting ready for work, and I was putting on my sneakers. The last time I wore them was hiking at Ghost Ranch in um, Santa Fe, near Santa Fe. And I just shook all of this <laughs> sand out of my shoe. Hopefully you can see it. There we go. That little bit of sand in the corner of the box there. I'm keeping this forever because at the Ghost Ranch is where Georgia O'Keeffe, when she passed away, she asked them to cremate her and sprinkle her ashes over Ghost Ranch. So I have my tiniest little bit of Georgia O'Keeffe here in my Carolyn Pollock box and I'll keep it forever and ever. Morning everyone. I'm having that weird thing this morning where I haven't driven in over a week. <laughs> it's kind of a weird feeling. But I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm happy. My car. Like, my car. We left it at the airport when we went to Santa Fe. Apparently it got cold as ugh, here. <laughs> You guys, it got cold. And we got back the night before last at about midnight. We trucked our butts out to the car. It was seven degrees. We weren't ready <laughs> for seven degrees. And then the car would not start because it was so cold. It had been cold, so cold. For so long and not started for you know a week so we had to track everything back inside the airport thank goodness my husband's like the problem solver he rented a car got us home came back out yesterday once it had warmed up a little bit and got the car started and brought it home to me so yay i have my car back um so, I'm back at filming on my phone. Uh, it's difficult. The GoPro is not difficult to film on. It's difficult to edit and um, upload from. Um, I'm having some technological issues. I always am with GoPro. So, any videos that you see from the GoPro are probably going to be uploaded um, through hopefully through my laptop up to may, probably Facebook. Unfortunately, I can't seem to edit them so that they're all together as one video, which sucks. But I'm going to work on it. Um, right now, I am headed... It's snowing. I am headed to Home Depot to get some board to paint on. Um, which I'm very excited about because right before I left... Um, my husband had gotten me um, a gallon of our resin, which I'm so happy about. Yay! Um, so I'm really looking forward to painting. I've got paint supplies in Santa Fe that I'll show you guys when I get to work. Um, I got some amazing Windsor Newton inks and um, a new couple of new pigments. And I'm so excited. Oh, I have a whole little book. Excuse me. I'm still, I guess, jet lagged. I don't know. Um, I have a little book that Dave got for me at the farmer's market in Santa Fe. Um, it's like a little leather bound journal. It's so cool. Oh, where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Jeez, I like just decided I when the light needed to turn, I guess. The sea? <laughs> I hadn't been driving for a week. Uh, everyone is allowed to flip me off at this point. Anyway. I need to pay attention. Um what else? Oh, so he got me the little book and I've been writing painting ideas in that little book like the whole trip, so I've got plenty of ideas. I also have one that I need to work on that's been asked for, so that's cool. Um, 
what else? I, my sister helped me organize some art supplies yesterday, which was awesome. Thank you, Mimi. Um, yeah. So that's it. Um, I've got a couple appointments today. I'm going to hang out with my friend Jennifer. And then we have um, Miss Jada Grace's birthday. So we're going to do something for her birthday tonight. Um, and so today should be fun. And a little busy tomorrow with clients, which is awesome. So I'm going to take the time that I have today to get substrate and do some painting that I've been dying to do since before I even left for Santa Fe. I'll also show you some little um, gifts and things that my husband got for me for Christmas. Uh, besides a tummy tuck, which is kind of a big gift for Christmas, but um, he got me a bunch of like really cool dads and things. Yeah, so I'm on my way to Home Depot now. Um, I'm wearing like 18 layers of clothes because I don't like to be cold. Um, I shook all of the <laughs> Georgia O'Keeffe sand out of my sneakers this morning into a little box to keep it. Um, Dave started my car for me, which was awesome. He's the best hubby ever. I need to get coffee, get some boards, and get to work. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, bye. Good morning. So I'm at the shop, and uh, let's see. Yesterday I poured a really small canvas, just testing out some pigments and stuff. So I wanted to show you guys that guy. Hopefully you can see. There we go. It's like a streaky, pigmenty, opalescent, glittery goodness there. There's that. So I finished that guy up. He's all cured. Um, <clears throat> I went to, <coughs> excuse me, Home Depot this morning. I'm going to set you guys down right here. Went to Home Depot this morning, grabbed some boards. So I've got one. To, uh, what, what is it? Two feet by two feet by four feet, and then I had one cut in half, which means it should be two, two by twos, right? But they're not. <laughs> they're not. I'm gonna have to measure them to see what exactly they are because they did not cut half and half. I maybe it didn't start out as four by two. Who knows? But anyway, um, I wanted to show you. I got. Some new spray paint, gloss black. I got two of these because they were on sale. Yay! Some more pouring buckets, which is awesome. Some latex gloves. And these cool guys, Sharpie. So these are um, oil based markers in the, the gold and silver, the metallics. So I want to see just how metallic these come out. Let's see. And of course, they're like hermetically sealed. Mm -hmm. Trying to make it harder for the huffers to get into them or something. Okay. So there's the gold. And silver. I'm hoping this silver is straight. Like, I don't expect it to be chrome, but I hope it's silvery and not streaky. There's something I want to use it for, in particular, a mermaid piece. Okay. I'm a bit tired, sorry guys. Okay, I got that shaken up pretty good. I'm going to put you guys down so you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, I dropped it off. I got to get the nib primed here. Come on. Please be a good silver. I hate priming the nibs like this because it mushes it down. You see like, so this is like a fibrous nib and you're already distorting it before you ever get any ink out of it because you have to do it like this. But, come on. 
Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to hold it down like that. Okay, it's better. Wow, y'all. There it comes. Jeez. Okay. That's not bad. I mean, it's not super shiny on paper anyway. Yeah. I mean, it's silver, but it's matte, you know. That's all. That's okay. I mean, I didn't expect a ton from it. But it's not bad. I mean, it'll at least show opaque, which is not super shiny, but not good for the project I was thinking of using it on. And I'm willing to bet the gold is probably the same way. That's okay. Well, you'll be able to use it for many other things. That's cool. I'm going to show you a couple things that I've got for Christmas. Um, first thing, <laughs> look at the pencil case my hubby got for me. Is that cool or is that cool? So it's from Disney, the Millennium Falcon shaped pencil case. Is that cool? And it zips like from both sides. I've got stuff from vacation in it right now, but super cool. Thanks, babe. That's awesome. He also got me um, a pair of um, arm warmers, pulse warmers that have buckles all down. How cool is that? I feel like Edward scissor hands in these, and I flipping love them because they come down pretty far. Even down down pretty far on the thumb keeps me nice and warm I wore these several times on vacation I wore them this morning as a matter of fact so I got those they look like gauntlets or something I love them um he got me this is cool it's hanging on my keychain looks like this doesn't look like much right looks like one of those like hand exerciser things but watch check it out it turns into a claw these are sharp as hell but plastic so they like get through the airport and everything super sharp so if you were ever in any trouble you've got a bear claw and you're collecting DNA at the same time is that cool look at that it's not dangerous unless you're a child my man worries about my safety and I love that that's cool so I just keep it on my keychain so I always have it on me that um, one more thing I got more things. This is what I'm going to show you today. Um, this we got at the farmer's market in um, Santa Fe. One of the first days we were there. So they had a bunch of different kind of smudge sticks. How about that? Is that beautiful? Oh, it smells so good too. So we've got, well, okay, we've got sage. We got some, this is like juniper, I think, pine. There's a pine cone in here. There's i not sure what the yellow is. We got red hot chili peppers. How cute is this? And it's all wrapped in rainbow string. It smells so good. And it's beautiful. I'll never actually burn this one. This one is special to me and it, I, <laughs> It would have to be a major, horrible event for me to have to burn this guy. Um, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. And it smells amazing. So yeah, that's that. I have to drink my coffee in my cool cup that Christy made for me. And, yeah, so I am going to get to some resin pouring and painting. And, um... Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I just got a message and I wasn't thinking. 
Um, so I'm going to get to work doing some painting. I'll probably film a little bit, and then um, I will see you guys later. Bye. Crazy kind of satisfaction to just finishing a pour piece. So I just finished this piece just as <laughs> clients arrive. <laughs> how cool is that? The client headed in, but I want to just show you guys how this guy was settling out with the pink and gold and the pink gold and the red russet and the pearl white. Isn't that movement? And the gold foil. I dig it. I like it. I'm real happy with this piece. Again, I'm still working on leaving negative space. But I'm throwing in these little tiny stripes is like a new thing too. So I dig it. I'm real happy with it. I love how this worked out up in here. It's great. It's great. I'm happy with it. Anyway, um, Jennifer's on her way in. Oh, I just want to show you. I had Miss Diana a few minutes ago. And... We've come up with this, like, cocktail of color. <laughs> so, on her nails, we had done, this is an old Young Nails caption polish called Oh No She Didn't. And um, we lay that down. See here, there's, this. so we put that down one layer of this, like, cobalt blue. And then we did a glitter mix of the C&D we go the C and D with a, like a blue flash to it there's no name on, yeah there's a name on it well that's the wrong lid to it though there's that and then we did that and this one here a young nails what is this rockstar diamond dust mixture of those two so we do one layer of this polish a layer of these loose glitters and then Here's the trippy part, another layer of this polish on top of those glitters, and then the top coat. I, don't, I think I'm going to call it the Diana <laughs> technique. And it looked so cool. And so I did a few more with some other colors. So here's a pink. So it's a hot pink polish, and then two colors of pink glitter, and then hot pink polish again. There you can see. So it kind of tones down the glitter. If you don't like a, if you want a shimmer, but it's not, you don't want crazy glitter. It's a real cool way to do it. And it's almost like a dimensional, like a car paint kind of uh, flaky glitter. So there's that. We did a purple. So you see, there's the purple. And we did a red, which I love. This is Wonder Woman with glitter sandwiched in between it. Is that cool? And then you throw the top coat on top of that and it just looks like glass, like some kind of like European glass or something. Anyway, it's a cool technique that we just like worked out. So I'm hoping to do, I'll do some more swatches of um, different colors with that technique. I, don't, I hope it's coming through on here. That pink shirt is, there we go. There we go. And it's, I mean, I'm using legit like chunky glitters too. Hello.